Warning, this video contains graphic footage of deadly spiders giving birth. If you suffer arachnophobia, this video is not for you. Well, sorry for the rushed introduction here. Finally, I've got video of a redback spider laying its eggs and making the egg sac around the eggs, which is being played with right now. It looks rather gruesome, doesn't it? This has been very, very elusive for me to capture. Uh, they tend to do this when they are in total isolation. Um, my spiders get given a night time, and this is the first time that I've peeped into their little home and seen the egg sacs being developed at this stage and been able to finally get this on camera. I've just been rushing to get lights and stuff on this. I can't uh, undo the top as much these days because there are so many spiderlings in this tank. Uh, what the spiderlings go for is the light. So if I put light at the top of this environment here, the spiderlings just all want to come out. It's made it quite difficult to deal with. Uh, but it is quite amazing uh, to see the redback spider laying the eggs, and then it will weave a beautiful egg sack around those eggs. Quite miraculous. I think this is about the, I don't know, 16th or maybe 18th egg sack which has been laid up in this uh, environment here. I think this one female spider will lay a series of eggs from what I can see and then they will do their best to protect them and I think we've all seen how these spiders uh, will take out anything that threatens the egg sacs. That's been one of the constants in this environment. And what they say is it can be an average of 250 uh, spider eggs inside an egg sac. Well it can range from between 50 to 500 so average is a fairly dangerous word. And I'd agree with that. There have been some egg sacs I've seen which opened up and it seems like not many spiders come out, but other ones it seems like you get hundreds upon hundreds. Uh, sorry for the messy glass. Uh, because of the spiderlings I can't get in there and clean it like I used to. And maybe the exposure is all over on the shop in this video because I really just had to run and get this because this initial part actually happens in a fairly fast amount of time. I noticed in nature that anything where things are vulnerable, uh, it tends to be done at speed. And then it's a case of the point now of the redback spider, the female one, putting the web around that, the eggs that have just been laid up. I've caught that moment uh, a number of times, uh, but just seeing the eggs getting laid has been so difficult to video. Uh, it's not funny. I just thought, boy, oh boy, I hope I'm not going to miss out. But finally, finally, I've got it. Of course, I was tracking a lot of these egg sacs in their development. I can tell you how long it's taken some of them to open up. It's roughly around about six weeks, and it all really depends on a whole bunch of variables. Uh, I was sort of reading that it can vary anything between three to four weeks to maybe blow out right out uh, way past eight weeks. So, it, you know, it really is a great unknown when an egg sac is actually going to open up and how fast the spiderlings will develop and finally break free. Well, I've just changed over to a black background so you can see the web uh, that the egg sac is now being uh, wrapped up in. Uh, to me, it's like a 3D printer in the way the spider works. Um, maybe there's a name for that sort of web ability, uh, but I've, like I said, I've, I've caught them, you know, when they're finishing these egg sacs off that many times, but just to get that moment when the eggs are being laid, I'm, I'm feeling freakishly lucky today. Uh, it is quite mesmerizing to watch. Uh, I haven't been able to capture the footage of the spiders mating. I believe they do it via the mouth. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, there's, I don't know, maybe it happens in a very, very short period of time. Uh, I have heard the females will eat the male as well. Um, but from what I've noticed is that these are prolific breeders, these spiders. I think if I was going to say, what's the one thing I've learned about redback spiders and, and looking at them in this tank, apart from being amazing killers and taking you know care of most things that go into this tank here, um, their ability to breed and breed in huge numbers uh, really puts rabbits to shame. I think that's been quite astonishing to see. Uh, nevertheless, I am that happy to get this footage. It's not funny. It was always the mysterious aspect to the egg sacs and just seeing that first initial clump of eggs and the way the spiders then go and dab um, bits of web you know, layer by layer uh, to make the beautiful egg sac that the spiders get born into and when the spiders get get come out of their initial eggs inside the egg sac I think that happens within a couple of weeks and then the spiderlings develop on like a yolk in there I've only, I'm not an expert, I've just read a wiki page, so I'll always say when I've been a wiki expert, I'll tell you. I can't stand people who don't um, disclose that they're not experts when and, and trying to sound like one. 
I'm not a spider expert, but I have learned heaps and heaps by looking at these spiders in this spider tank. Uh, sure, it's a bit of an unnatural environment, um, but I'm sure we've got a far grander appreciation of these spiders um, than, than before. Uh, yes, they are pests in our backyard, they are dangerous pests, but they are also miraculous uh, critters as well. I'll have to hand it to them, they are amazingly efficient at killing, amazingly efficient. And I'll just keep talking through this because I'm capturing this at normal speed. There's been a couple of times when I've caught the egg sacs uh, while finishing off in time lapse and they look accelerated and a little bit rushed. Um, it hasn't taken very long for this redback spider to get to this point here. Literally, oh, it, it, 10, 15 minutes. And it just keeps going layer up upon layer upon layer until you can barely see the actual eggs inside of that ball of eggs. Now what I've noticed is as they develop, uh, they will change colour and they'll get darker and darker as the spiderlings uh, are inside and they're growing and you'll sometimes see movement inside, it looks a bit creepy if you get light shining through at the right times. And, uh, and it's, the other thing I've noticed is they'll often look crinkly, uh, but as when they hatch, it's not as if they hatch and there's like a burst of spiderlings. They seem to mysteriously just come out, um, almost like, you know, the, the word's out and, and one by one they'll come out and they'll tend to rush towards light. Uh, that's the one thing the spiderlings will always go for is wherever there's a light source. So if you remember when I was capturing these spiders in our infested backyard, uh, they're in very dark uh, recluse areas. Uh, the spiderlings need to find light to basically catch the wind, put some web out and find a new place to start breeding and developing because um, that's the way these spiders keep on going. Uh, the bulk of the spiderlings would be killed by predators, uh, lizards and in other insects and other spiders and things. Um, but uh, there'd be quite a few of them, I dare say, would go through to being an adult, as I found out in our backyard. Uh, far too many, as far as I'm concerned, were uh, basically fully developed females. And again, you look at the numbers of spiders that I captured in my backyard, uh, just do the, the math on how many egg sacs a female can lay, and then you're literally talking about thousands upon thousands and thousands of redback spiderlings, which would have been in my backyard if I didn't go and do some sort of tidy up. Um, the infestation would have just basically multiplying and got worse and worse and worse. Uh, and obviously the predators... Uh, are missing in my backyard and I've got to try and introduce some. I think I need to go and get some praying mantis uh, to sort part of my problem out and other things as well. Maybe um, get the blue tongue lizard back in uh, if I can get something introduced to our backyard. As far as I can see, uh, the blue tongue lizard uh, has gone and has gone really since the cats have been around. Okay, so uh, the cats uh, really think have upset the apple cart in our backyard when it comes to uh, keeping the, the redback spider numbers down. That's my theory on all this. I wonder what yours is. I know my wife had a totally different theory, um, but I, I don't know. I just feel like I'm on the money, but then again, what would I know? I'm just a dumb YouTuber. To get to this point, it's about 20 minutes in real time. I haven't had the camera going like all the way through. I've had to readjust things and grab lights and grab different colors for the back. Um, but it's a speedy little thing. I think it's about it's about 30 minutes and it's all done uh, from <laughs> from seeing the uh, end bits that I've seen before and it is usually nice and white when it's finished and then as the egg sac gets older over the weeks it starts to change color to that very dark color that I was talking about earlier up in the foreground of course there's the red back um, finishing off its egg sac there but if I pull a bit of focus here I see my finger in reflection there is a red back up the back there sucking on a Christmas beetle because we're right near Christmas as I'm doing this video. Who knows when it'll be uploaded to YouTube, but they seem to love Christmas beetles as a feed. In fact, it looks like it's a Christmas beetle and cricket conglomerate. I notice I like to uh, do special meals like that. Nice smorgasbord of different insects. You'll notice the females uh, will do a lot of uh, tending to the egg sacs in a sense. You'll see them shaking them at times and moving them about. They tend to move them about a fair bit. They use their back legs to carry them around. And I dare say it's all about putting them in the right spot where it's nice and dry, the right temperature, and hopefully not too much light. They seem to steer clear of the light of the egg sacs. It hasn't taken very long at all, I can assure you, and that egg sac looks, looks like it's nearly finished. Uh, what I've noticed is that when they do make their egg sacs and lay eggs, they will spread it out over a fair bit of time. Now, this female here has got her group of eggs. I think that's maybe her, her fourth. Mind you, there are two others over there that have been abandoned. Maybe that's from a redback that was killed. 
because they do eat each other, they are total animals, these guys. But, uh, yeah, they'll spread them out. So that means when they hatch, they're also sort of uh, staggered in the way that they'll enter the world. Maybe that's a way of nature making sure that things survive. Uh, but I have noticed that in this spider tank, uh, it's not as if you get multiples of egg sacs in a week. What I've found is you'll get, I'll get maybe one or two in a week, and that just goes on for week after week after week uh, across multiple female redback spiders. Um, I think the total number of spiderlings that'll be in this tank, it's going to be uh, in the high thousands. Uh, multiple thousands of spiderlings will be um, enjoying this home here, eating each other. And the one thing I do know is that the female redback spiders, the large ones, uh, will eat a spiderling like a lolly. It's almost like a one suck and they're gone. I have seen that. It is extremely hard to get on camera. Uh, I've only got it through time lapse, and that distorts the whole time factor of it. Um, but uh, the big females, those spiderlings are like lollies for them. Just going back to the white background, we can see the spider easier like that. The black one reveals the egg sac easier. And that's one thing I've done when I've looked at these spiders, I kept flipping around from between uh, black backgrounds to white backgrounds because there are some times when I want to highlight certain aspects of these spiders. Maybe I should have just gone for grey, gone in between the two of them and maybe would have seen it all much better. Oh ho! Finally I have captured the moment when the Australian redback spider lays her eggs and develops the egg sac around those beautiful little eggs. One of the uh, most tricky little bits of video that I've ever had to capture, and I've missed this moment many times over in this spider environment. Uh, reclusive, elusive, and very deadly spiders, these guys here, uh, we've all understood how they can uh, nail very, very large critters, and also very small ones. In fact, trying to find something which kills a redback spider has been quite a challenge, and there'll be a little bit more of a story behind that, maybe in videos to come. Uh, there is just one other thing I need to get about these spiders, but <laughs> capturing that is going to, I dare say, be almost impossible. I hope you have learnt something in this video, because as always, I've learnt nothing. And remember, boys and girls, these redback spiders are deadly pests. Don't mess with them, don't play with them, because you'll come off second best.